Hello, guten Tag, thank you for joining me. I'm at the Lockfeld Museum in Germany. Today is another episode of Miniature Railway Europe, but we're also going to have a look around the museum. I'm currently stood upstairs, and if I look across here, I've got half a roundhouse full of locos and various other interesting exhibits to show you. Then we're going to go and ride on the train. I'm just noticing here, here's to be their workshop. You can just see the top pantograph, roof of a vintage electric loco. That's so what I'm going to do. Well, have as much of it as we possibly, we'll see as much as we can um, in the time I've got. This is the third episode of Miniature Railway Europe. I've done a couple of other Miniature Railways in Europe, I've done quite a lot of Britain lately, so it's nice to, whenever I'm in Europe, to see what Miniature Railways they've got. Look at this, this appears to be a tamp, you can just see where it tamp the ballast. And then, I'm not too sure, but this looks like some form of maglev, interesting exhibit. Very different track, you can't exactly yeah, it is, it is a magnet, magnet look, magnetic, something's a bit barn. So yeah, it's, it's a magnet, runs on different sort of track. Back to more conventional locos that run on conventional track. We've got all these electric locos. You could see a 103. Out there you can see the roundhouse, the turntable. That's the main line from, uh, from Salzburg to Munich. The nearest city to this museum is actually Salzburg in Austria. We're very close to the Austrian border. I came on the train today from Munich whilst doing a few railways. I'm on a tour with rail trail tours. So we're doing a few branch lines and that around Bavaria, but we've come here this morning. Yeah, DB, classic DB electric loco. Some older locos now. Looks as though maybe she's 90 years old going like that. So it's, it's always good to see these. Admittedly, my knowledge isn't as good as it would be if they were British locos but I always like seeing these vintage electric locos. Some of them I think were built in Winterhau in Switzerland. And then we move on here to look, rack locomotives. Now this steam loco here, this came from the Schaffenberg farm, which I visited last year when I was in Salzburg. In fact, I did a drive's eye view. There is a drive's eye view on my channel of the Schaffenberg farm. Wasn't with that loco. Looks like it's got a Giesel, a Giesel ejector on top. And then there's a bit of a steam loco here. They seem to have cut most of it. But We'll have a look at that in a moment so you can see how it works. Yeah, see this is an electric loco here, built in 1899 in Winterhau. Interesting, interesting side. So from this angle, you get a good view of the Schaffenberg barn loco. Great railway to do. I think the reason they've semi-scrapped this loco, perhaps they rescued it, it already been started being cut up. At least you can see what the insides of a boiler were like. Continuing with rack railways, look, we've got one from Yugoslavia. Going by the plate, that's the Yugoslavian hammer plate. And up there, that's the Southern Rail. So this is a tender rack locomotive. And then we'll move on to some more, a couple more steam locos. So yeah, big rack loco. Again, looking out, every time I look out, it seems a train's going past, except when I'm filming. But it's quite a busy railway. Interesting to see perspective on the rack locos, one facing that way, and then it's one facing this way. Here's a rack electric locomotive. This must come from the rack railways. There is not too sure which one, um, but I expect someone will tell me in the comments. And we've got another steam loco that's been cut so you can see how it works. And in front of that locomotive is a fantastic HO gauge model railway. I do love a big model railway like this. I think it's so big that we're gonna to have to, um, rather than me talk, we'll just do, we'll just watch it for a little bit and then we'll go and ride the miniature railway. There's also a G-scale railway, so we'll have a look at that and then we'll go and ride the miniature railway.
book. Don't mm. just turn up. Mm. If you just turn up, you've got every likelihood of not getting them. Yeah. Uh, it's always having extensions, isn't it? Yeah. That was good fun watching some of the model trains on this fantastic layout. See that uh, roundhouse? That's the building we're in. So this is a model of Freilassing. Um, I think the line in front, that's a bit modeler's license. But basically, to get here from the station, you end up walking over, see that bridge there. So if we have a look at the station down here, that's Freilassing Station. You walk along there, over the bridge, to access the museum. And then, looking at some of the layout, I expect some of it is probably modeled in real places. There's an Austrian train there waiting. Well, we know it's one of the real places because we saw the station. Now, what's quite cool is, look, if you go down here, you see the fiddle yard. And if you think it looks awkward to access, well, remember we're in a locomotive roundhouse. What do they have below the track? They have inspection pits, as we can see here. But in most cases, they're boarded up. But here, for the staff who run the railway, they go down into the loco inspection pit and instead of maintaining a big loco, they run the little trains, which I think is really cool. And I think it's the only example I've seen of, of that happening, but it's a really good idea. Right, we've seen standard gauge, we've seen narrow gauge and rack, we've seen models. I think now it's time for a ride on the miniature railway. So we go out here and look, there is the train just waiting to go for a ride. You can see there's a couple of other diesel locos out here. So we'll have a ride on that. And then I'm gonna go back to the station and um, ride some branch lines. Eilzug nach München Hauptbahnhof. Abfahrt.
I've had a great time here today at Lochfelt in Faislassing. It's been a really interesting museum to visit, so I do recommend coming to visit here if you would like to travel here. You can easily get here from Salzburg or from Munich. It's um, not too far from Salzburg, probably less than half an hour, 20 minutes by train from Salzburg. From Munich, uh, just under two hours. So it's worth coming to visit. You can ride this nice little train. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming around here, so he's going to pass us again. You can ride this nice little train, see a few interesting locomotives. The guides in the museum were also very friendly. They seemed very keen. When I wasn't filming, they were showing me all sorts of things. The model railways were also great. So do come and visit Lockfeld. It's a great little museum. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from Lockfeld and uh, little Lockfeld Express, goodbye.